Hi guys, welcome back. Okay, so it is that time again, time for me to shop my stash. I've actually really been wanting to shop my stash <laughs> for a while, but I've just kind of been, you know, using what I pulled. I believe I pulled in a few other things that weren't in my original shop my stash, but I can't remember what they were. So before I shop this week, as usual, I want to go ahead and just run through the items that I've been using, give you some quick thoughts if I have any, and move on. So I'm going to go ahead and start with this bottom drawer here, which has like the foundations and primers that I was using over the last few weeks. This Makeup Forever HD foundation, this is like Truly one of my new favorite foundations. Honestly, I could keep this in my shop mustache forever and I would be happy. I really, really like this foundation. I've never used it and had any issues. Um, it stays put. It gives me a nice, you know, set natural finish. It's not too oily. It's not too dry. I love the tone. The shade that I use is 4Y66. It's just perfect. But I am going to try and declutter some of the foundations that I really don't use. So I am going to put this back so I can pull something new and start running through and making decisions on my foundations. But this I absolutely love. Next, I have in here my L'Oreal Infallible. This is another absolute favorite of mine. It's a great drugstore foundation. This foundation, I like I said, with the Makeup Forever, I don't have any complaints with this. It just works. Love it. I could use it every single day, quite honestly. I have the shade, what is it, 515? Yeah, I guess that's it. And I love it. Love, love, love it. Now, for primers, I did pull this Beauty Bakery, um, the Butter Primer. And I will say, I really do like this primer still. But when I used it this go around, I feel like it was just a little bit too slippery or more slippery than I wanted for my primer to be during this, you know, shop my stash. So I did end up pulling a different primer to use because although this is really nice, I don't know if it was more slippery this go round because of the milk makeup moisturizer that I was using or, you know, it could have been my skin. I don't know, but it wasn't as matte as I wanted my primer to be. So oh, let me put this on here, right? So I did go ahead and pull something else, but it's still a really great primer. It was just a little bit more slippery than I wanted. Now, I also have my Ulta Beauty Mattifying Face Primer, one of my absolute favorites. I really don't have too much more to say about this. I love how it mattifies and blurs my pores. Great, great um, primer to use. The other one that I pulled in when I wasn't really that happy about the Beauty Bakery Butter Stick was this Good Molecule Silicone Free Priming Moisturizer. I decided to try out, you know, using a two-in-one situation instead of just pulling another primer. I felt like this would be great for that. I really, really love this um, primer. As you can see, I've used quite a bit of it over time. So I knew that this was going to be a good substitute primer for me that would moisturize my skin and it would still leave my face nice and primed and smooth for my makeup application. So this is one that I pulled in after the fact and I really, really like this. So as you can see, the only other thing in here is my little makeup wipes that I use to kind of take off some of my makeup. This drawer here has my mascaras. I've been using these two mascaras forever. I actually might switch them out. This is the Thrive Cosmetics Tubing Mascara. Love this stuff, but I feel like it's kind of starting to get a little dried out, so it's probably time for me to replace it. This one here, the Mega Slim Skinny Mascara from Wet n Wild. I love using this on my lower lashes. It's just so easy. It does not... Um, get all over my you know face and stuff when I use it because it's so slim and I think I'm going to keep this in my drawer for now just because I love the formula I love the really super slim skinny wand and it's still 
a nice consistency. It doesn't feel like it's drying out yet. So I think I'm going to go ahead and keep this in my drawer and I'm going to replace this one. For my eyeshadow primer, you guys know I love my P. Louise base. I use this. It is a holy grail for me. So this always stays in my drawer. I did pull my Ulta Beauty Matte Eye Primer because I love this one as well. And I just kind of wanted to switch it up a bit. I use the P. Louise all the time. So I decided to grab this one. This one works really well as, as well. It's more of a matte base for you so if you like more of a drier matte base this might work better for you i also pulled my mac paint pot this one is in soft ochre i used to use this all the time back in the day years ago so i just pulled it just to kind of give myself a little more variety as you can see i have a nice little dent in there and this is a nice drier um formula for your eyeshadow base if you just kind of like to go in with a brush tap it down Make sure that it's going to, you know, make your color pop, but you don't really like a wet base. Then this, this works really well for that as well. I have my NYX Glitter Glue. I use this whenever I have a shimmer that I feel like needs a little help adhering to my lid. Or if I want it to pop a little bit more, this works really well for that. But I will say, sometimes when I use this underneath a shimmer... Because I do have hooded eyes, it does cause creasing. So, yeah, got to be careful for that. This LA Girl Gel Liner, this is a black gel liner. I never use this. I keep it in my drawer, always saying, you know what? I need an option for a gel liner. Never use it. I always <laughs> revert to my liquid. This is just a matte black liquid liner. I got these from Amazon. I mentioned before. Super duper affordable, but they work really, really great. I bought these because the NYX liquid liner, the matte liquid liner that I was buying all the time, I couldn't find it. And it seems like I heard that it was coming back. So I definitely need to find it again. But this has been working just fine. And honestly, I've really just stopped just like buying a bunch of like makeup and backups and stuff. The one thing that I always buy is eyeshadow palettes. I don't know why, but I can't stop buying eyeshadow palettes. <laughs> but everything else, I can just like chill, not buy ever again in life. The eyeshadow palettes, maybe a little blush or highlighter here and there. But the eyeshadow palettes, child, they're going to get me every time. So for my lower lash line, the liners that I like to use is this NYX Professional Makeup Liner because it is retractable, just black. So I keep that in my everyday drawer. And another black liner I like to use is this Tarte. This is a close-up lash liner. This one is retractable as well, honey. Give me a good black retractable liner and I'm happy. So let's move into these products for the base, the base of the face, okay? So for powder, you guys know I love my KVD. This basically stays in my drawer. If you don't believe me, <laughs> just look at that, okay? It's almost time for me to go ahead and pop this out and put a new one in, but child, I'll be scraping them rims, scraping them rims. I love this powder, it's perfect. It just, it's my powder. If I could use this, just this for the rest of my life and not buy another powder, I'd be happy. I use the shade Deep 200, absolute favorite, so that's going back in the drawer. I pulled this Kiss New York Pro Touch Matte Powder Foundation to set my face with as well. This is Toffee Caramel. Um, This used to be one of my favorite little, you know, affordable drugstore type powders and actually... Honestly, it really is still a good powder, but it's like when I compare anything to my KVD now, it just, I don't know, it just don't feel the same, okay? This, I might still keep for a little while longer, not sure. Now, this one here, my Makeup Forever uh, powder, it's in this little canister here, but this is my Makeup Forever powder. Um, I don't know. I just feel like this powder is a little light for me. Just, it's a little light for me now. When I first used it, I was like, okay, that's cool or whatever. But now, I don't know, it just feels a little light for me whenever I put it on. It doesn't give me the depth 
in powder, you know, matching my skin tone that I like. Um, this one is Y505. So, I don't know. I'm going to put this back. It might de get decluttered in the future if I use it again and still feel the same way. Because it's winter time. You know, my skin ain't going to get no lighter, honey. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put this back. It might get decluttered in the future. Also, for powders, I pulled this CoverGirl Clean Professional Loose Setting Powder. You guys know that I had mentioned I wanted to try out all of my like lighter setting powders translucent setting powders stuff like that this one is 115 translucent medium and i didn't like it <laughs> i didn't like it no matter how lightly i tried to set my face with this i still felt like i had a white cast and i just i don't like that at all i don't want to see any of that so this is going to get decluttered i also used my Too faced peach perfect I like this powder. I already knew I liked it, but you know, sometimes you just got to double check. But yeah, I really like this powder. I like how it leaves my under eyes. I really, really do. So yeah, I enjoy this powder a lot. This one is just this mattifying loose setting powder, translucent caramelized peach. So mm, I might keep this one. Not sure. Might switch it out. Might keep it. We'll see. For, let's see, oh, let me just uh, go ahead and show this Milk Makeup. This was the moisturizer that I've been using. This stuff is so nice. It's so thick and rich. It just, oh, my skin is just soaking it up, child, soaking it up. It's so nice for the winter. It just keeps my skin feeling so nicely moisturized and hydrated. So really, really love this, but I am going to switch it out. I have so many moisturizers that I need to use. Um, let's see, should I go into bronzers? Yeah, let's just go into the bronzers. Um, I'll start out with this Makeup Geek palette. I've had this in my shop, my stash drawer for quite a while, just because I don't pull it as often as I want to. I think this go around, I might actually just put, pull like one of each item just to kind of alleviate all my choices. But yeah, this Makeup Geek Trio it has in here the blush, the highlighter, and a bronzer. There we go. So it has, uh, what is it? Burnished, Chivalry, and a Blaze. I love this trio. The only thing I really don't use is this bronzer here because it's a little bit off for me. This blush, child, is gorgeous. And this highlighter is gorgeous. So I think I'm going to keep this in because these are some really good, this blush especially looks amazing during the fall and winter. Um, and the highlighter is really, really pretty too. I know it looks kind of strange because it's colored, but let me see if I can. <laughs> this is my arm that has everything on it, so it's kind of hard to see. But you see that highlight? It is so beautiful. It is just, is gorgeous. So I'm going to keep this in for now because I want to pull it more than I do. So I'm going to put it over here so I can keep it in. Now, moving into the other bronzers, this Danessa Myricks, um, what is it called? This is Power Bronzer. So this is the Power Bronzer in the shade Deep. This thing scares me. <laughs> it's just every time I pull it, I'm like, I need to use it. I paid money for this, blah, blah, blah. But it just scares me. So you know what, honey? It's going back in the drawer until I'm ready for it because I ain't ready for that. This Hula Toasted Bronzer from Benefit, one of my absolute favorites. I've been wearing the heck out of this. And it's just, as always, it works amazingly for me and my skin tone. So love this, but I'm going to go ahead and pull it, put it back because I need to pull something else. And then I also pulled this Duo from the Lip Bar. This one is Staycation. So it has a bronzer. And this bronzer is a little too deep for me. This is like borderline contour for me, you know, it's too deep. So I can't really use the bronzer in here. So I do use other bronzers, but the blush, oh, y'all, this blush is just, it's out of this world. It's so freaking pretty. I don't know if I swatched it the last time, but let me go ahead and swatch it right quick for you guys here. So you see that? Look at that blush. 
Oh my gosh, beautiful. So I love the blush in here. I'm gonna put this back because I've been enjoying that already. But yeah, that blush is bomb. Uh, let me just keep on with blush since I started talking about blushes. So we have these here, I think, that are all blush. This ColourPop, um, this is a a super, a super shock cheek, which, you know, I think it's supposed to be a blush. This is the shade Drop of a Hat. But for me, I use it as like a highlight, you know, because even though it has color in it, that sheen, it gives me highlight vibes. So yeah, I'm gonna put this right here. You see that. You see it. So it's so, so pretty. But I'm going to go ahead and put this one back and pull something else. Um, also, this Morphe blush. This is really pretty, you guys. I was pretty surprised. This Copportunity. I was actually surprised at how nicely beautiful and pigmented it is on my skin. It's really, really pretty. Let me see if I can get a little swatchy swatch for you guys. Um, running out of running out of places but see that's the morphe it's really pretty it looks gorgeous on the cheeks really really nice so yeah beautiful but i'm putting that back this is one of my all-time favorites i don't even have to really talk about it because i love it this trio blush highlight from revolution pro this is the blush and glow in cranberry cranberry glow I use it all year round and it's just absolutely gorgeous. I know I shouldn't be swatching y'all. I should not be swatching, but I'm going to go ahead and do a few for y'all. Okay. Y'all just getting stuff all up. Oh, look at that blush. Get out of town. Okay. All of my blushes um, have been very similar during this shop my stash okay but those are the three from this trio right here as you can see all of my blushes this shop my stash have been so freaking similar I need to pull some different shades but those this trio y'all is my absolute favorite so but I'm gonna put her back okay so all these highlighters let me talk about this Natasha Denona this is the you know like face palette from her and of course I have the dark so yeah this is what this palette looks like right absolutely gorgeous so so pretty I have not I think did I use the eyeshadows no I have not used the eyeshadows as you can see not even swatched they're so gorgeous I did want to test out the blush and the highlighter, this go round, right? Has this little protective case on it. I'm just messing up my stuff right here with my nails. But I wanted to try out the blush and the highlighter. I was really disappointed in the blush. And I don't know, it just, it just, I don't know if it was the brush that I used or whatever, or maybe it's the color. But the brush that I used, um, I just felt like, dang, where can I put this? Um, I'm going to put it right here, okay? Right up here for this blush. I don't know. It was just so weak to me. And I felt like I really had to go in so many times to build it up to be able to see it. You know, and as much as I love blush, I, I like to see it. I don't like to have to go into it 50 times just to see it. So I just felt like the blush was just, it didn't give me enough pigment at all. I don't know. Now the highlighter, chow, uh-uh. The highlighter, that's another story. Let's put her up here. <laughs> you see that? You see that highlight? Okay. Shoot, that highlight was not playing. Fell in love with the highlight. Gorgeous. But the blush, mm -mm, it was weak. So kind of disappointed because I was really excited about the blush and the highlight combination. So mm -hmm, but she went back on the shelf. Elf on the shelf, honey. Okay, highlighters. This Milani Intense Bronze Glow. Absolutely gorgeous. Love this. One of my favorites. I've shown it before. Talked about it a million times. Beautiful, beautiful. I don't need to swatch that, but it's going back. 
this ABH Beverly Hills, this was the iced out highlighter <laughs> that I wanted to play with. And I actually did. I played with it, you know, used it. Let me clean off my fingers. Used it and just had a good time with it, you know, with some of my looks. Uh, let's see here. How about here? Okay. So yeah, you see that? You see how pretty that is? So, so pretty. So yeah, I had a lot of fun playing with that. It's a beautiful highlighter. I'm glad I pulled it. I'll pull it more in the future. Also, this Huda Beauty. This is the Thea Nymph Kiss Glow Blush, okay? Of course, I use this as a highlighter, even though it does have, ooh, child, has a beautiful rose gold coloring in there. But yeah, I do. I use this as a highlighter. I think I'm running out of room. Okay. Let me see here. Where? Hmm. Come on, KK, find a spot. Okay. Top of the butterfly right here. Oh my God. <laughs> you see that? Oh, gorgeous. Oh, so pretty. So I had a lot of fun playing with this as well. You know, I'm glad I pulled some kind of like different highlighters to have fun with. This Ciate London, this is a confetti highlighter. I just love the way that this highlighter looks, okay? Just the whole confetti situation. It might give somebody else the EBGBs. <laughs> it kind of looks like a cobblestone road, but it is really, really pretty. You know, I know I've swatched this before. I just had a whole highlighter video, okay? So... That's what that one looks like, you know, all blended together. Really, really pretty. I don't know if you can see that, but very, very pretty highlight. Okay, so I love this one. Easy pull, knowing that I'm going to love it. So I'm going to put that one back. So I'm putting the Makeup Geek back in here, the Peach Perfect, the Kiss Powder, as well as my KVD because... I'm pretty sure I'm just going to keep those around in this drawer. I think this is it. I have just my basic glosses and lip liners up here. But in this drawer, I'm kind of disappointed in myself because I didn't use what I was supposed to use. Like, what was I doing? I don't know. But this I used a lot. <laughs> this one size um, concealer turn up the base from, what is it, Patrick Stars brand. This one is Deep One. I use this a lot under my eyes and around my mouth to cover up my hyperpigmentation, you know, and just kind of help give me a nice base before foundation. I usually use my Essence Camouflage Concealer for that. This stuff, excellent for that. This is a matte concealer. And what shade do I normally use, you guys? Uh, dark mocha. So I usually use this for my dark circles and my hyperpigmentation, but I started using this instead just to see if I would like it. And I actually do. Okay. This is some serious concealer, but I'm not surprised with it being Patrick Star. Okay. I was supposed to use this black opal total coverage. I don't think I used this not one time, you guys. <laughs> I don't really like this packaging. I, I don't. I don't like this packaging. It's weird. Look at this. It's weird. It's not user friendly. I don't know. And then I feel like I think I need to shake it up. Yeah, it's like starting to separate and stuff. Look at that. It's like starting to separate. So I don't even know. if Oh, that's nasty. I don't know. I might just declutter this because there's a lot of things that I don't like about it. So yeah, I think I'm going to declutter this. I don't want it no more. And then the other one that I was supposed to use was this Sephora Bright Future um, Concealer. What shade is this? Toffee? Yeah, looks like it is 14 Toffee. And I don't think I ever used this. I do not recall using this one. I mean, it, it seems like it's a really nice concealer, a nice shade, you know, very brightening for sure. So I'm going to leave this in here because, child, I need to use it. And I'm going to take this one size out and put it back so that I don't use this by accident. I'm going to put this back. I always keep my Juvia's. You guys know I love my 11 Juvia's shade number 11 concealer. Perfect for me. Beautifully brightens. You know, whenever I want to throw makeup on quickly and not have any issues, this is what I'm going to pull. 
because don't nobody have time to be testing out new stuff when you trying to run out the house. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to leave the Sephora concealer in there and I might pull one more just to go along with it. But as far as previous base products, that is it. Let's move on to these palettes. Okay, so this first palette here, and you guys are probably going to laugh at me if you remember the palettes that I pulled from my last shot, my stash, because I don't think I used any palettes, maybe one or two <laughs> that I pulled from my last shot, my stash. I really didn't do a lot of like bold, creative, fun looks. I was really kind of feeling very neutral over the last couple of weeks. So some of my eye looks were very, very just neutral. Um, but the Mary Jane Milk Cosmetics palette, I was looking at this in my makeup stash or my makeup collection, I should say, and I pulled this to use. This was not in my last um, shot my stash, I'm pretty sure. But when I looked at it, I just wanted to use it one day. So yeah, love, love, love the mattes. The mattes in this palette out of this world, amazing. They basically blend themselves. I had an amazing time with the mattes. Then I got to the shimmers. And it was a different story. <laughs> okay. Now the shimmers are absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful. Okay. But the ones that I used, which was this one here, very chunky. Very chunky. And I don't really like using chunky shimmers a lot. This one was chunky as well. Um... So when I laid them down on my lid, I'm trying to think, what else did I use? Did I use this one? I don't know. It doesn't look like I used these two, but I'm trying to remember what the eye look that I did. But anywho, when I, let me go ahead and put the eye look up. So this is the eye look that I created with this. But when I went in with the shimmers, very chunky, I had to wet my brush to kind of force them to smooth out on my lid and it was not a fun time. It wasn't really enjoyable for me. So although the shimmers are absolutely gorgeous, very pretty, they took a little more work than I like from a palette of this price range, <laughs> okay? So yeah, anyway, that was that. Love the mattes, the shimmers, not my favorite. Next, I did use the ColourPop Troublemaker. I think I did pull this palette, though, in my shop mustache. Very cute. Um, This color story, oh, I love, love, love this color story. It's just something so different than what I would normally use. It's really pretty, grungy. I think they themed and named this palette perfectly with it being Troublemaker. I just had a good time. So this is the look that I created using this palette. Lots of fun, love these shades, love this color story, just the cool tone, smokiness, I loved it. So had a good time with that. Now, like I said, I was really doing um, a lot of everyday, just neutral, warm, or cool tone looks. This is the Rebellious News from Colored Rain. I don't even think I took any pictures of the looks I did with this palette, but I grabbed this a lot for everyday use. It's just the range of shades is beautiful and the shimmers pop amazingly on the lid. So yeah, sorry I didn't take any pictures, but I was usually grabbing this when I just needed to, you know, wanted to do a quick little makeup look, run out the door and just know that it would be put together nicely. So very, very nice palette. Really like this. Also for... Some of those quick, um, everyday warm looks. I did use the Juvie's Place Coffee Shop. I went ahead and grabbed this. As some of you guys know, I was trying to not buy it. I was looking through my collection, trying to, you know, keep from buying it. But that didn't work, honey, because <laughs> this palette is just unique enough for me to want all these shades in one place. So I did do a look here. I'll put it up on the screen with this palette. Love, love, loved it. It was a breeze to use. Easy to blend. Shimmers absolutely gorgeous on the lid, okay? Really, really had a good time with this. So yeah, I'll probably be keeping this close by um, on my vanity just for everyday looks as well. Next, this palette. <laughs> Ooh, this Unearthly Cosmetics Leather and Lace. 
I love this color story. I wanted this palette so bad. And it might not look like much, but it's just so warm and earthy and fall-like. I just had to have it in my collection. It's like super simple, but extremely brilliant at the same time. The colors that they chose with just the limited amount of shades are perfect in my opinion. You have your, you know, bright shimmers, your pretty colorful shimmers. You also have that dark black so you can smoke things out. Warm, beautiful, burgundy, purpley shades and the browns. Ah, beautiful. So anyway, let me see if I can squeeze the picture in here. So this is the look that I did using this palette. Loved it. I mean, this is a palette that honestly I could use like every day because it's just basic enough, but has just enough color to make me happy. So I loved it. These mattes, oh, when I say basically blended themselves, basically blended themselves. I was very pleased with this palette. Love it. Next, I combined two palettes together. This is from um, Adept Cosmetics. This is my own little, you know, palette to hold singles whenever I use singles. But I pulled these three singles from my Adept Cosmetics um, palette. Just a bright green, a navy blue, and a beautiful purple shade. And I combined it with my Minka palette because although this... Oh, Yes, it is as gorgeous as it appears to be, child. This palette is beautiful and the shimmers are amazing. But as, as you can see, there's only two mattes in there, the light purple and the dark purple. And, you know, I wanted to get a little more jazzy than that. And I was like, mm, I ain't in the mood for that today. I wanted something a little more creative. So that's how I ended up, you know, adding those other singles from my Adept Shadows. So they're all Adept Cosmetic Shadows, but I just wanted to jazz it up a bit. So with using this palette, let me see if I can do this while showing the picture. Maybe, maybe not, who knows. But in using this palette along with these singles here, let's see if we can get that in there with the, the picture. But using <laughs> this palette, the Minka, along with these matte shades here, pull it in. This is the look I created, and I felt like it was really pretty. I had a lot of fun. I was able to kind of, you know, make this palette a little bit more spicy, a little more spunky than it is. Although it de definitely doesn't need it, but y'all know me. I love color, so I was feeling colorful this day, so these are the shades that I picked to use. Now this next palette, I have to say, I was a bit disappointed. I, you know what? I'm not even gonna lie. I was very disappointed. <laughs> and that, ha that doesn't happen to me that often. And it hasn't happened to me to this extent in quite a while. But okay, let me just start off by saying this is not a bad palette. Not a bad palette at all. It's not what I'm saying. It's not horrible. It's not trash, nothing like that. It's just for my liking, the type of shadow formula that I like to use, this really disappointed me. So this is a Cosmic Dreamer by Inslee Rain. If you guys watched my video talking about the palettes that I was trying not to buy and all that stuff, this is one that I was so freaking excited about. It was this one, which is, if I can open it, you know, the really kind of grungy, smoky, cosmic type, you know, theme or whatever, right? So the palette itself, when I got it in person, wasn't as rich and deep as I thought it would be just from the photos. You know, that happens, not a big deal. But the matte shades are not as rich and pigmented as I had hoped that they would be. So they take a lot of building up, which for some, you know, people is actually better because you don't want, if you're not that comfortable with a whole lot of pigment and a whole lot of color, you don't want to go in on your eyes with something super duper deep and dark and not be able to blend it out. For me, I, I, I like to control my pigments myself. <laughs> 
So they can be super deep, super dark, super rich, and I'll be perfectly fine with that because I know how to, you know, tap off my brush and monitor it. But yeah, with this palette, the mattes were disappointing. Now the shimmers, the shimmers, that's a whole nother story. The shimmers were absolutely amazing. This purple here, oh my gosh. See, for you guys, it's like a dark purple. But for me, it's kind of like a magenta. Like, I don't know, you can't really see that. But anyways, it's more of like a magenta type shade. This green, absolutely gorgeous. This orange, this bronzy, burgundy. Like for me, it looks more orangey. For you guys, it looks more burgundy. But yeah, the shimmers, that's, that's like a whole nother story. The shimmers chef's kiss beautiful amazing so if i did pull this palette it would just be for the shimmers unfortunately i would have to combine it with a palette that i like the matte shades better from so unfortunately it didn't live up to my expectations in that sense and i have so many beautiful shimmer singles that yeah i don't know if i would actually reach for this palette just for those shimmers, even though they're gorgeous. So yeah, this one was just a bit of a disappointment for me. And lastly, I used this palette. I don't think I have any pictures from this palette as well. This was another everyday uh, neutral eyeshadow look palette that I reached for um, quite a bit over the last couple of weeks. And like I said, I don't think I took any pictures with this. So sorry about that. This is Plain and Makeup by Yolando. This is the Browns and Nudes by Yolando eyeshadow palette. And, oh, it's so pretty, you guys. It is so pretty. If you like these shades, um, yeah, there's quite a bit in here. It might kind of give you like Morphe vibes and stuff like that. But the quality is just way better. <laughs> It's just way better. I mean, I used this palette a few times and it probably really looks like I didn't even touch it. So yeah, it's it's gorgeous. It has the beautiful plum shades in there, that gorgeous deep dark black. It has just so much earthy warmth. And then it does add a couple of pops of cool up here to go along with the plum shades. It's just really, really pretty. So this palette, I definitely love, definitely enjoy it. And this is probably going to stay close to my vanity as well. Okay, you guys, so that's it for the products that I've been using. Let's go ahead and grab some new ones. Okay, you guys, so I'm doing this a little, a little ghetto style today because I don't feel like setting my camera up. So I'm just going to hold you guys as long as I can while I choose. Um, moisturizer. What are we feeling, you guys? What are we feeling? This banana souffle is looking cute. <laughs> um, the Sunday Riley, the title. This is the um one of the water creams. I love these type of moisturizers. It's like I always gravitate towards the water creams. I've been kind of using thicker ones with it being winter, though. Mm, should I do the Marc Jacobs Youth Quake? Cause that's pretty thick. Hmm. Mm, yeah, let me go ahead and pull this. I haven't pulled this in a long time. So let me go ahead and see how I feel about this. Okay, so next I do need a primer. Did I keep any primers? No, I did not. So let's make this quick. Um, This Tarte Base Tape is really good. Uh, the Milk, the Huda Beauty, I've used those recently. I haven't used my um, Touch and Soul No no Problem primer. This stuff is really, really good. And I haven't used this in quite a while. So I think I'm going to go ahead and pull this because I know I like this. So let's grab this. And I think I'm going to keep it simple, you guys. I'm trying not to pull too many products. So I think I'm just going to focus on that primer this go round uh, let's see oh yeah i do want to pull one more concealer along with a new mascara so i wish i had the right shade in the born this way the born this way i have is too dark for brightening 
Mm. So, yeah, I want something that I can brighten with. The Huda. Did I use the Huda last time? Mm, I think I did. So, I'm going to pass on that. Natasha Delon. Ooh, what about Rare Beauty? I feel like I need to use this. Yeah, I need to pull this. So, let me go ahead and pull this Rare Beauty. And that's all I'm going to pull for concealer because I already have the Sephora. Okay, let's pick a mascara. I hate picking mascaras, you guys, because I don't like opening them, you know, because they get all messed up. I know I used this Milk Makeup Mascara before, and I think I really, really liked it, quite honestly. The ColourPop 2, the Level Up, I feel like I really liked that as well. Um, I just need to pull one more. What is this? Is this Sumptuous Extreme, honey? Who is this? I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> so I think I might go ahead and pull the milk since I've already used it before. Let me make sure it's not dried out. I don't know, y'all. She feel like she could be getting a little dried out. She actually look like she might be a little dried out. So let me pull something else. I think I'm going to go ahead and declutter this. Okay, so I think I'm going to go ahead and pull this Nabla Major Pleasure Mascara because when I opened it up, it still felt juicy. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pull this one and leave it at that. Okay, y'all want to see something absolutely insane, okay? Not one. Not two, but three drawers full of false lashes. And this is somebody that never used to wear false lashes, and now I love them. But these, I actually just got from Amazon. They were like on my little homepage or whatever, and I fell for it. But these, as you can see, they're like really thin in the front, and then they flare out on the outer part. And it's like, I was like, oh, I got to try those. I can't, I could just couldn't resist. But yeah, I, um, I just got these like this week, but I thought that was kind of neat. It's not something that I've ever tried before in a style of lash where they're like thinner in the front and they flare out at the back. I don't know. You guys tell me if you like those, but yeah. Um, if you're curious or you want to buy them, I can link them in the, <laughs> in my, um, description box. But yeah, anyways, I just wanted you guys to know how ridiculous my lash situation is. It's, it's really crazy. Okay. For highlighters, I think I'm really just going to start out in one drawer because I'm only picking one highlighter palette. I usually go through, you know, and peruse through my singles and all that stuff and nope I'm gonna keep it simple this go round because I usually pick so many highlighters out of my two singles drawers that I never even make it to my palette drawer for highlighters and no we're gonna do something different now this um BH Cosmetics Desert Oasis that you know, I have been keeping forever and ever and ever because it's so gorgeous. Well, you know what? We about to use this mug, okay? So I know these three highlighters are just absolutely beautiful. Three different shades for me to use. I'm going to pull this to use for my highlighter. <sighs> Am I going to pull anything else? Hmm. Revolution. Oh, this is pretty. This is pretty, 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 pretty. Should I use one of these different colored ones from ColourPop? These are so hard to open, you guys. I don't think I'll be able to open it with one hand. Oh, look at that. Gorgeous. You can see, like, from where I swatched what the highlighter looks like on the cheeks. Oh, should I pull this? Okay, I'm going to pull this, and that's it, you guys. That's it. Okay, so let's move on to bronzer. Let's keep this simple as well. Um, I did do a video recently showing you guys my top 10 bronzers that I absolutely love. So I'm going to pull two bronzers. <laughs> I know I said I was only going to pull one item 
from each category, but I can't do it. I can't do it, okay? This L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear, this is a foundation powder, but because of the shade, it works as a bronzer for me. Let me see if I can open this for you guys. But yeah, this is a bronzer shade for me, and oh, it's so smooth. It's so beautiful. So yeah, I'm going to pull this. This is, what shade is this? 375 Deep Amber. Yeah, so this is one bronzer. Okay, so I need another bronzer. Uh, do I want to pull? I was just talking about my Black Radiance, and I haven't used those in forever. Maybe I should go ahead and pull one of these. Ooh. Yeah. I think I'm going to pull this. <laughs> <laughs> that's the deep to dark and this one is the medium to dark and that's cream medium to dark powder let me see mm. I'm gonna pull this one the dark to deep yeah and go ahead and sculpt with the one in the middle and highlight with the highlight so yeah let's go ahead and pull that Okay, we're on the home stretch, uh, blush and bronzer. I'm going to start down here because just like with the highlighters, I usually start up here and I end up pulling from here and then I go here and I end up pulling from here. But you know what? No, we're going to go straight to the quads, duos, and palettes. Um, Oh, this is Natasha Denona Bloom. Oh my gosh. Can I open this? Because, child, it is so gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, she pretty. She pretty. But I'm not in the mood for that. Um, This Pure I've had forever. This is the Dark Deep. And the Blush. This is like all, you know, uh, face palette quad. I'm not going to pull that. The Jaclyn Heel. These are her little duos. Look at that packaging. Fire. But these are her duos that have like the bronzer and the blush. And that's pretty. That is a really pretty shade for winter. Mm-hmm. We gonna pull that. <laughs> uh, NARS. I think this is fairly new. Not new, new, but I think I got this this year. I can't open it. I'm not in the mood. This NARS, or maybe this is the one that I got. Hold on. Is this the one that I got? With these blushes and bronzer and highlight. Oh, am I in the mood for this? It's got some really pretty like fall and winter type shades. But am I in the mood for this? Hmm. Maybe. This is a maybe. I got my Patrick Ta. Uh, let's see what else here. Nope. Nope. I was just talking about that. Mm. This is really nice for fall and winter as well. Can I open this? Lord help me. This is from Revolution. This is the Goddess Glow Shimmer Brick. Ooh, this thing is pretty. Okay. Child. Gorgeous. But this is kind of like a bronzer blush highlight situation as well. Oh, but she pretty. Okay, okay, okay. I need to get my life together. <sighs> what about something from the affordable drugstore type? So Nika K, these are really good. These are really, really good. Okay, I'm doing too much with the blush. I'm going to pull this. I'm going to pull this. I think I'm going to pull the NARS too cuz I need I need to I need to use it. And we're going to pull this. Okay. <laughs> we're going to pull that. I know just listen, whatever. Whatever, okay? So we pulling these three. Okay, so honestly all I really need is like an under eye powder. And I really don't need that, to be honest with you, because I kept the just the peachy, just peachy from Too Faced. But, mm, 
The Tatcha, she might be getting decluttered because she be leaving a white cast too. And ain't nobody got time for that. The Huda. I don't really have that many. The Huda. This is bomb, you guys. This Huda. This stuff is amazing. But I don't really have a whole lot. You know, I just used my Fenty of like under eye powders. This is a banana. Uh, who is this? Buttercup. Buttercup. Sasha. Uh, do I want to try this? I feel like I don't like this. And that's why I be avoiding it all the time. I think I need to pull this and see what's happening. Okay. I'm going to pull the Sasha Buttercup and I'm going to pull the Huda because I know I like the Huda. So we're going to go with these two because if I don't like the Buttercup, whatever, Sasha Buttercup, that's going to get decluttered. And then I can just use the Huda and feel comfortable. Okay, so that's it. I'm done. Okay, you guys. So something that I haven't done in a long time is actually um, pull palettes with you guys. I usually pull my palettes and then show them at the end. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and pull some palettes with you guys because I'm going to try to keep it to just a few. So I'm going to start over here. These are some of my newer palettes that I have just received um, or purchased, whatever the case may be. Um, I actually just recently got this Juvia's Garden of Juvia's, but it's kind of like pastel. So no, I'm not feeling that. I got a couple of new palettes from Ace Beauté. Um, I got the purple one, the green one, uh, what is this called? This is Envy, which is, who gorgeous. Oh, she's gorgeous. Mm, maybe. See, this is hard. It takes forever when I try to pick with you guys. And then not only that, I pull the palettes and then don't even use the ones I pull. So I am going to pull though. Um, I just got this Give Me, Give Me Glow. Um, Haunted Pumpkin. This palette is huge, you guys. Look at the size of this palette compared to these other palettes. I had no idea it was this huge. So I'm going to pull this. I'm going to go ahead and pull the palettes and then I'll open them after I pull them. So I'm going to pull this. Okay, and I think there's one more from over here that I do want to use. It's going to be this one. This Norvina. What is this? Volume 6. Yeah, volume six. I said I wasn't going to get this palette, but I did anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this. Okay, so now I am over here because I want to pull one of my um, Natasha Denona's. I think I'm going to pull the Safari because I haven't used the Safari. And I do want to go ahead and use this. Okay, and moving down here, I do have some of the smaller Put a beauty palette that I have not used yet. This one is the Jaguar, so I'm going to pull this. Okay, so down here I have some of my Morphe palettes. Well, all of my Morphe palettes. And I feel like I pulled this a long time ago and never used it. This one is the Ashley Morphe Times Ashley Strong. So I'll show you guys this in a minute if you haven't seen it. Okay, so now I've moved down here to my Beauty Bay palettes and I feel like I want to pull this Midnight palette because I do want a blue palette to play with. Okay, so I'm up here in my Pat McGrath section. I had to pull this one out. So this is one of the Celestial Divinity quads that I would like to play with. So I'm going to pull this one. And these two palettes I actually want to use as companion palettes. So this is Juvia's and Melissa. So this is Melissa and Juvia's palette. And as you can see, this palette goes pretty deep. So, so pretty. Really gorgeous. And then this palette here from Morphe. This is the 9P Petal Passion. So as you can see, gorgeous rosy tones in here beautiful beautiful shimmers so i want to kind of use these like in a companion situation okay and i'm just going to pull one more you guys this one is from alamar cosmetics this one is what is it called oh reina day <laughs> what is it 
Reina del Caribe. So Reina del Caribe, I'll show you guys this one as well. Okay, you guys, so now I'm sitting back at my desk so I can show you the palettes that I didn't already show you. The ones that I already showed you were the Pat McGrath, the Juvia's and Melissa, I already showed you, but so pretty. And then also the 9P Petal Passion from Morphe. I already showed you guys that one as well. Super gorgeous. So I'm going to do kind of like a combination thing with those two. Ones that I didn't show was this Huda Beauty Wild Jaguar. <laughs> and this palette, look at that. Ooh, look at them shimmers. Gorgeous. So I can't wait to play with that. Also, the Beauty Bay Midnight um, Nine Color Palette. Look at that. Ooh. <laughs> Gorgeous. Also, the Ace Beauté Envy Palette. This one. Oh, look at the greens, the blues, the shimmers. So, so pretty. Oh, my gosh. So pretty. Okay, so I got that. The Alamar Cosmetics. This is the Reina del Caribe. This one, I'm sure you guys have already seen a million times because this one came in the Boxy Charm a long time ago and I swatched it and never used it. I don't know why I haven't used it to this point. If I did use it, I don't remember. So we're going to use it again if we did. But I don't think I did. This Morphe and Ashley Strong Affirmation Magic Artistry Palette. The packaging is really cute. I really like the packaging as well as, you know, how it opens up. So it opens up sideways, kind of cute. But this is what this palette looks like. Very pretty. Not anything like wild and crazy. Nice and muted and neutral, but beautiful pops of green and blue in there and purple shimmer. So want to use that. The Natasha Denona Safari palette. Have not used mine yet. Um, I just recently got the Biba because <laughs> y'all know I haven't been into the neutrals and whatnot, but you know, I wanted to go ahead and add that to my collection. So I just recently bought the Biba, but this is the Safari, a little bit of color, all matte, really, really pretty shades in here. Let's see here. Oh, the Haunted Pumpkin. You guys, li listen, I don't know if you guys, did you guys know how big this palette is? This is the Norvina. You guys know the size of the Norvina, right? Look, the Haunted Pumpkin is longer than the Norvina, okay? And it's just, it's huge. This thing is huge. Look at it compared to the, the Norvina, right? It's huge. So anyways, this is what the packaging looks like, just in case you didn't grab it, okay? Haunted Pumpkin, a couple of months too late for Halloween, but I really, really fell in love with this color story when I saw it. So this is what she looks like in person. Let's see if I can get you a close-up, okay? Then what she look like in person, honey. The browns, the orange, the teals, you know, all right here. So we'll create something funky with this. And then lastly, the Norvina 6, which if you're familiar with it, it's basically her like um, colorful... Well, all the palettes, <laughs> the Norvinas are colorful, but this one has more of that rainbow vibe. Um, got a couple of glitters in there. I think maybe there's two glitters. The blue one and the like frosty one right here. I think that's a glitter and I think that's a glitter if I'm not mistaken. But the bottom, well, the last three rows are really, really calling my name. And I really want to see how the shimmers and the glitters perform. So we're going to go ahead and play with this. Okay. You guys, would you believe I totally forgot to pick foundation? How did I do that? <laughs> I guess I was talking so much about the two that I was in love with, I forgot that I needed to replace them. So I just want to show you guys the two that I picked. I picked this Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation, and I have the shade 490W. So I am going to be using this 
And I also pulled my Beauty Blender Foundation. This is the Bounce Foundation, and I have the shade 4.35W. Oh my gosh, this used to be one of my favorites. Have not used this in forever, so let's hope it still works out for me. But I'm going to go ahead and put these two in my drawer with the rest of my items, and that will conclude my shop my stash for this week so thank you guys so much for hanging out with me helping me to pick my items hopefully i look forward to enjoying these i think i'm gonna have a good time and i will see you on the next one so have a great week toodles